Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, my extra loud air conditioning, my unmade bed, and mm. I just had water burger. Yes, it's delicious. Mm. Anyways, what I have going for today's video, it's only, oh, I don't know, about a year late. I mean, it's it's not like anybody's been waiting for this specifically. <laughs> anyway, I've got it right here. I know every YouTuber who does art and their aunt, uncle, mother, brother, father, sister, and extended cousins have reviewed the Hemi gouache. It's my turn to join them, so let's get started on that, why don't we? Alrighty, here we are, the Hemi gouache set. This one is the 18 color. There are bigger sets available. However, I figured I'd get the smallest one to try it out. And even though I've never even used this before, it is a bit scuffed, and that's probably just from being moved and all that. And I still stand by what I said in my original video when I unboxed this. <laughs> this whole palette setup reminds me of Tupperware. Alright, so let's take a look. Each of these are individually packaged and like I mean like I said I haven't used them yet and these things are supposed to be as near as I can tell from the other videos I've watched these things are like freaking immortal it's like once you you peel this off the whole thing can dry up but you just spritz it with a little water and it perks right back up to life all right so here's the mixing palette that comes with the thing you got the lid and even once you, you peel all of this off, you're supposed to be able to just close it all back up and it should be hunky-dory. However, if you're like me and always paranoid about leaks, you might consider maybe putting a thing of plastic wrap over it. What, what can I say? I'm just paranoid. Anyways, let us begin. I know I probably said that earlier, but this is, oh boy, where do I, s ah, where do I start? Geez, some of these are kind of a pain in the butt to get out. Come on! Ugh. It looks like pudding. Wasn't that satisfying? Well, only 17 more of these things to go. Eh, just give me a quick minute. Okay, well, it looks like there is a little bit of separation in the pigments, but that's probably just because, well, this thing has been just kind of sitting for over a year, but that's okay. That's okay. I, like, I have not lost hope. I'm pretty sure just mix it up it'll spring right back to life anyways let's test that theory I, I, I haven't been able to decide though if I'm really happy that they included two whites or if that's a waste of a color like I'm, I'm hoping hey maybe I'll go through a lot of white and make it worthwhile maybe that's also why the bigger sets are a thing. Well, if I really enjoy this, then I may consider investing in a bigger set. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Ooh, that, 
That goes down nice. Ooh. Ooh, that is. I like that. And now here's the other thing. Seeing how well this washes out. Now then while gouache is similar to watercolors, one thing it does do, it really likes to stick to your paintbrushes, I'll tell you. <laughs> it used to be white. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish up the swatches and then do a blend test and then an illustration. I mean, you guys know how the order goes. Although sometimes I do skip a few steps, I admit. <laughs> Anyways, um, yep, time to speed things up. Alrighty, so after that, um, I just want to say, wow, the, these, these paints, so far in the swatching process, they live up to the hype. I, I enjoyed them. I mean, like, the, the one issue, and this isn't the paints themselves necessarily, uh, cleaning the brush. That is a hassle because <laughs> look how murky this water gets. I mean, like, I had to change out the water multiple times while, whoa, there I go dropping my paintbrush. Okay, where was I? Okay, let's see, murky water. Oh yes. So you're gonna need to periodically clean out your water quite often. However, I mean like the, this gradient, I mean like, these things, they blend beautifully. And it looks like as it's drying, you get a really nice matte finish. I mean, and the, the, the blending, I mean, like, they, they mix well. I mean, like, they, it's kind of like, it almost feels like using acrylic paint in a way, but it's not. I mean, like, they, these are fascinating. I, I, I love them. Anyways, let us move on to an illustration because mm, I, I can't wait. I, I, uh, these are these are cool. I, I ten out of ten recommend so far. Okay, so I've had this idea for a little while, just kicking around inside my head. 
Combining dragons, something that I absolutely love, with desserts. Also something that I love. Because of the array of bright colors in this set, I really wanted to take advantage of that, so I decided on strawberry shortcake for this one. Sweet, spongy, creamy. I'm thinking that I might do a key lime pie and some sort of chocolate somewhere down the line. Not sure when though. Question. What is your favorite dessert? Do you like drinking coffee with your desserts? Oh, there we go. I need to do a coffee dragon too. Yum. Okay, as I mentioned and showed earlier, these gouaches blend together and mix beautifully. The texture is so creamy and I want to say delicious, but I wouldn't recommend putting these in your mouth. No, no, don't, don't do that. It's like acrylic paints that are just smoother and easier to use. Now, a point of mention, once these gouaches dry, they re-wet on the paper very easily, which could be considered a mixed blessing. With that being said, these paints layer exceptionally well, and the smooth matte finish has excellent coverage. I mean, like, it, it, like, light covers dark, dark will cover light. I love these things. It's no wonder every art YouTuber, it seems, has gotten their hands on this jelly gouache at some point or another. This stuff is just beautifully enjoyable to use. I love the little Tupperware-like container it comes in. And with just a spritz of water, this stuff springs back to life after drying. And at the time when I purchased these, they had a reasonable price tag. I'll have the current price pop up on the screen now. Another point to mention, I picked up the smallest set, the 18 count. There are larger sets of jelly gouache, and the palettes come in a multitude of cute, cheerful pastel colors. Now it's only fair to mention some drawbacks. One thing I don't recall being mentioned by any of the other people that have reviewed these is just how much you're going to need to clean out your rinse cups and brushes in between colors. I swear half the time that I spent on this piece was rinsing off my brushes, so be prepared for that. And this is more of a nitpick than a drawback, but this palette is like a brick. It's heavy. I wouldn't recommend this for a travel set of any sort. Huh. That's really the only drawbacks that I can think of. These paints are just that awesome. Consider picking up a set and trying them out for yourself. If you have used jelly gouache before, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. As always, you know I love to hear what you guys have to say.
All right, to make a long story short, this jelly wash, <laughs> it's awesome. I loved this stuff. It was so much fun to use. I, I really think that the best way I can describe it is as if acrylics and watercolors had a love child. If I had to give it a numerical rating, I, I would say that an 8 out of 10, that's what I'd go with. Because there are issues, but there's issues with just about anything. Uh, but these, these were fun. These were fun. I enjoyed doing this. I think I need to do more dessert dragons in the future because dang it if I'm not craving strawberries right now. Some strawberry shortcake. Oh, that sounds good. And I swear that, uh, mm, like sweets and dragons and new art supplies. It's my triple crown. Anyways, I certainly hope that you all have enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And while we're at it, see about getting yourself some of this Heaney gouache because dang it is fun to use. Now I understand why every single art YouTuber has, has gone over this stuff. Along with their mom, their dad, extended family. Why they've all gone nuts for this stuff. It is fun. Alrighty. Well, with that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye.